songs playing at the same goddamn time. What the fuck? Oh, because I got the stream. Oh, that is so fucking stupid, man. That's plugged in. It's plugged in. Okay, guys. Um, we, I guess, are just going to get started. Let's get the screen on. Let's see here. Where's my shit? Let's see. This is what they, this is what they're all seeing right here. Okay, oh, so we got sick. links in here. Got some people in here, and then there they are. There we go. The boys. They're nice. here. Look the at this. The updated headshot. This is Which Kyle is Legacy good. right here. Look Hello, at this. Hi, everybody. Hello, Nan. Straight from good fucking you. Liverpool. Yeah, that right. Well, via like Connecticut and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, Liverpool man, via then. Connecticut yeah. via Australia. Australia. Um, via just any brothel or strip club that'll have me. Yeah, what are you doing here? <laughs> what about the, what the, what, what, good to see you as well. <laughs> just in your, I, I mean, I slept here last night. That's you did? Why you were shocked. He, you have slept in my place before, though. Was it the exact same couch? I uh, No, it's a different couch. Nah, that's not you me. Do it, I, I wouldn't sniff my couch, <laughs> to be honest with I you. I just got monkey box off that couch. Sure. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of gay sex Where on Where did you couch. get these old photos from as well? Every photo. What old photo? Like, it looked like I was a missing kid where nobody wanted to find me. Oh, yeah, let's see it's these ridiculous. photos here. Let's, <laughs> let's look at Kyle this. Legacy right the here. The transformation of that hairline. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, like, half black? Like, what's your deal? Nah, everybody, even black people say to me, um, I, 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 are you black? Are you Jewish? No, I'm not. But everybody's like, when I come, they're like, oh, the rabbi's here. It's yeah. Fun. I don't know what it is. It's like, I've got all their powers and none of their weaknesses. It's very <laughs> pubic. It's very, very pubic. I mean, I'll show you. I've got too much foreskin, if anything, <laughs> to be honest. It's ridiculous. Oh, shit. Uh, but no, like, at this one time, well, it's happened three times with my same boy, Mosley, in London. He, he, he's a black guy as well, and like, We'd be out and black. What, what zone is he in? Zone? Isn't that how that works in London? They got like six zones. Oh, yeah. he's it. Where's, What's, where's What he zone now? is he in? I guess he sounds like What's he's a, like... What zone do they put the black people in? Yeah, I was going to say. What zone is that? Um, I don't know. What, 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 uh, what's, what's the, the most, like what's like the most dangerous London? zone in London? Like, which one do you want to avoid? Oof. I don't know. Actually, I don't know my zones. I don't know, really. I try and avoid all of them. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah you're from. The black people can go to all the zones, obviously. Yeah. Well, but continue with just, your story. They just I gotta sit at the back of the bus when oh. they go to said zone. That's that's the only difference. <laughs> I see. I see. Wait. So wait. Yeah. What What were you saying about your boy? Oh, he's so, black. So, so, he's confused by you. Yeah. yeah. No. 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 He, he he's not confused by me. Like uh, other black people will come up to us. And then they'll be speaking to him like, "What part of Africa?" And then they speak to me, and they're like, "Oh, and what part of Africa are you from?" And then that's when I turn into like fucking Barry Mac, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm just like, kick it. I'm like, I'm afraid of these motherfuckers, you know what I mean? Wow. And then I just sometimes I just tell people that I am black just to just to make their day a bit. You know are I mean? you okay? So are you the type of person where if you're hanging out? with black people for an extended period of time, do you start like blacking it up by accident? Like, do you start talking more black or do you kind of have your own swag that you hold to? I mean, to? I, don't, I, feel like, I, I feel like I do that even without the black people there. I just okay. swag it up or something like that. Cause some people, you, you ever meet people like that where they're like hanging out and, well, at first they're hanging out with white people. They're like, oh, hey, how's it going, buddy? And then yeah, yeah. they're hanging out with a group of black people. They start blacking it up. Oh yeah, exactly. Like, like I, I'll shake someone's hand like this. Yeah. How are you going to see you, sir? Yeah. He'll shake my hand like that, and then the next black person he meets, he's like, doing all this sort of shit like that. And I'm like, where was this? Where's this going? Yeah, what are you yeah, all about? yeah. It and just it, feels weird. You know, the craziest is when I'm playing playing basketball. Like, w w when did Spanish people like be allowed to say the N word? That's actually an in. They, they, you know, they just wrote a New York Times article about that. I think. Really? Here, let's let's take a look at that. Hold on a second. Wait, what New is this headline? York York Times. <laughs> it's like Poppy says Spanish the N word. N word. Yeah, this is actually like a thing. They wrote like a whole how the N word became I was unsayable. And it's like, they, I mean, they all call me white boy. I'm fine with that. Whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> white boy can shoot all that sort of stuff. But then like Spanish people are like yelling the N word at other black people, and like it's. It's Gucci. Okay, there, first of all, every like white supremacist, by the way, is like a thirteen-year-old little la fat little Latino kid. I don't know if you know this, but on the <laughs> internet, like they're all fucking like these little fucking Latin kids. But yeah, when yeah. Latin people use the N word, many of us assume our proximity to black people makes it okay for us to say the N word. It's not. 
It's like, what the fuck ever? Who fucking cares? Actress Gina, Gina Rodriguez. The last name, it checks out. Yeah. <laughs> She's Latino for sure. What the f- Why can't she use the N-word? I don't understand. Oh, wait. So she's saying uh, somebody posted a clip of her s- using the N-word while singing along to a Lauren Hill rap verse. The Jane the Virgin. It's like, okay, this is the other thing. It's Do you remember when, like, Kendrick Lamar was yelling at the white girl for, like, saying the N-word during the song? It's like, what the fuck ever? It's part of the song. Yeah, like, exactly. who gives a like, fuck? Like, how are you going to say N-words in Paris? Like, what are you going to do? Like, the, half yeah. of that song's an instrumental now. Yeah, it just people. doesn't make any fucking sense. It's ridiculous. I mean, I mean, we say it all the time, obviously. <laughs> I'm but. sure you do. <laughs> no, uh, I Liverpool. said we. I said we. Okay, by the way, everybody, so this is going to be a call-in show today. So if you guys want to call in, let me give you a link to the Discord right here. So hang out in the 444 channel over here. We're going to have people calling in, giving their questions to Kyle Legacy. I know some people have been telling me they got some questions for the guys. So please filter in, give give us some calls here. This is going to turn into a So this is going to be a call. I mean, I uh, hope so. I'm hoping for some fucking psychos calling in, giving us a hard I time hope we here. Get some fucking English people as well. So a couple things before we get started. First of all, can you freestyle? Uh, rap or Yeah, rap. Uh, yeah, probably, yeah. Okay, we're going to do a quick Kyle Legacy freestyle right here. Oh, all baby, right. let's go. Royalty free beat. All right, we're going right the fuck into it. Right to the source. All right, we're, we're going to find... T- let, let me know when you find one that sounds good to you. Here, let's listen. Let's try this one. Right off the bat, I'm going to sing. You're really trying to get me to say the N-word with this. <laughs> <laughs> with these uh, silver beats. What about a, ch- a changes thing? Mm, that sounds like Elton John too much. Okay. Dude, these are all it's fucking dark, trash. Dark area, isn't it? We need more rap beats, don't we? Lil Peep style beat. Let's see oh what man, here we fucking go. Slice <laughs> Damn, dude, these fucking this suck. Guy, Just give me some trap or something. Bullied out of rap. I don't know how the fuck he made that rap. That's a good point. Yeah, Lil Peep, what a fucking freak. What a pussy. Okay, I think we got some here. Oh, yeah, this okay, good. okay, all right. All right, everybody, Kyle Legacy. Let's go. Yeah! Motherfuckers! And words! <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm about to start rapping. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna make you mad. Maybe you might get sad. I'm, I, I haven't been wanking, so it's no fab. Let me sing you the song with the boys, so I can say, I'm glad. What did you expect, I'm English and white? Did you think I was just gonna bust into a bear? Topic. Um. All right. Topic. 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 What about? What about the Queen? Let's do a rap about the Queen. Oh my lord, yo. The Queen is dead. <laughs> she is fucking brown bread. <laughs> How can she die? She's a fucking lizard. She's a fucking lizard. That's the book. She's a fucking lizard. Oh, she's a fucking lizard. Well, you gotta do it on the beat. Oh, okay. on the beat Thank right there, you. everybody. So give it up for him. That was a, a little bit too soon for that rap, you know what I mean, as well, to be honest. Holy there. moly, that was really bad. Exactly. That was so much worse <laughs> than I expected it to be. <laughs> Walking past the casket with my basket. <laughs> oh, shit, man. That Just because you've got really the same bad. name as Chris Brown doesn't mean you can rap. 
Holy fucking shit. All right, let's start taking some calls here. That's a great little intro. Okay, I'm going to start. So anybody that wants to call in, join the 444 channel. I'm going to start dragging some people in here. Let's get Martina in here. Oh, hello. Hello, Martina. Hola. Martina, are you there? Oh, uh, shit. Oh, she dropped out. Okay. Uh, okay. Hashish, what's going on? Yeah. Yo, yeah, what's good, my boy? Dude, I dropped, I, I dragged in Martina and she left. Oh, she did? Often often that happens with women. Women will leave the room as soon as I start talking. Normally. Wow. So, yeah. Okay, so uh, Hashish, we have uh, Kyle Legacy here. Oh, okay. Nice All to right. meet you, lad. You're named after one of my favorite drugs. I appreciate that. Nice to meet you. Okay, too. so is there any questions you got for him? Any any thoughts that you have? Have you been watching the stream? Did I've you see just him got home. To freestyle. I just got home. Uh, you just got home. Yeah, so I haven't been able to see the stream. Okay, well, you, 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 probably for the best. All right, so <laughs> Kyle, maybe you want to give Hashish a little brief brief synopsis about who you are. Give him, give him um, the, the oh, uh, notes. What's happening, Hashish? Ring of the. Oh, ding, there we go. I, there we go. I see what you look like. You've got the king. You can't see. Very nice, like. nice looking lad. Oh, yo, nice one, lad. That's sick, isn't it? Okay, <laughs> fuck you, Martinez. You blew it. I'm getting laid off a <laughs> Um But ring a ding ding, you got the king. I'm the crowd where king. I'm from Liverpool. You can call me Riff Richards, Riffy Clyro, um, the statue of Riffity, the Great Barrier Riff. I go by oh, Riff Richards. Yeah. Very, oh my so God. many different aliases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Riff That's Biscuit, um, Riffany Haddish. There's enough one. <laughs> there's, so, there's so many. If you can think of any more, sheesh, then let, yeah, let us know. But where, wow. where, where are you from? Are you New York? Uh, no, I'm in Cali, California. Oh, in Cali. Oh, and I'm going to be there yeah. on the, on the oh, hey. 18th to the 31st. Wait, so what do what does this mean that you riff? Like, what is this whole riff thing that we're talking about? Well, well I just go up with no jokes. I just I say jokes of cruise ships and pussies. You know what I'm saying? So I okay. just go up and I just riff. So are you, are you like a roast guy too? Is I mean, that I'll included? roast the crowd or whatever or something like that. Yeah. 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 Like the other night, somebody was had a nose, a removable nose piercing. So I saw and you got a Kobe jersey on too. What's that? Is that a Kobe jersey or is that a... Oh, no, that's LeBron. Oh, LeBron. LeBron, LeBron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you what do you think of this whole thing? So he's saying that he he goes on stage, he's got nothing to say, he gets up there, he starts riffing. What do you think about that, Hashish? <laughs> I mean that's fire. I mean straight off the dome. He's kind of like common, free, isn't it? That's what he's I'm freestyling. He's like he's freestyling. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Fuck with that. He's free. He's free. He's free. <laughs> okay, well maybe he's not freestyling. I mean, I, hopefully <laughs> his freestyling is a little bit worse than his riffing. You mean better? I mean, no, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. I think I got it right. I think I yeah, got yeah, it yeah. right. Um, okay, maybe. So Hashish is talking to you right here. You're hearing his voice. Give me a 10-second riff off Hashish. Like, what, what does he make you oh, think? I love that. I, love that. Uh, I mean, it, it makes me think that his parents were definitely fucking hippies or some shit like that. And he's got a <laughs> sister called fucking Bong. And he's got a brother called fucking Crack or something like that. <laughs> were your parents hippies? Yeah, no, they oh, yeah, for sure. Hashish is, is that your given name? No, my, my real name's Hashim. That's it, that's it. That's yeah, it's just my nickname. Lead. My so nickname he's is a, he's a very uh, extreme Muslim. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, salam alaikum, lad. What's that, man? Alaikum salam, bro. There you go, exactly. I know that because <laughs> Mo Salah, the Egyptian king, very famous. Yeah, Mo Salah's Muslim, the goat. And he plays for Liverpool, yeah. All right, so... Are you Kyle, from Ireland? Wait, hold on, Hashish. Here? Shut your fucking mouth really quick. So, I don't talk to Muslims like that. I mean, that's probably true. <laughs> Dude, my whole Discord used to be like all Muslim. It was fucking scary. Oh, that's sick. I had to pretend to convert so they'd leave me alone. Yeah, now it's, and it's an all white Discord. <laughs> it's a nice mix. Okay, so um, Kyle, what do you tell Hashish? What do you think about Israel? Tell him. It's. <laughs> Are we not keeping it light? <laughs> no, we're going straight into this. Just tell yeah, me. Like, I mean, do you have a not light opinion about it? Um, I mean, I don't really know much about it. It's just like, just isn't it Jews? Just, just people with big noses fighting off people with big noses or something like that. What isn't do you think? The whole thing. Ask him. You, na- Hashish, you nailed it. What do you it. think of his analysis? Yeah, he nailed it. Well, he's Muslim. He's got no dog in this race either. There's no Muslims in, in Israel, is there? <laughs> is there? 
Yeah, there, there's a lot. No, but actually, like actually guess feasting. what? Israel, he wants feasting. No, Israel is kind enough to let the uh, the Muslims in, is what yeah, kind, she's yeah. not telling you. Uh, okay. Yeah. Kind well, they should enough, let him in yeah. everywhere. What are you on about? That's true. That's true. That's I love how okay, this so devolved Ashish, into an Israel so conversation. So Kyle, Kyle spends a lot of time. So he's doing stand up. <laughs> he's doing stand up. He is going around to different bars around the world. What do you think? Of, what do you think of a guy who's going to a, a bar around the world? He's got balls. He's got the, why, exactly. why aren't you going to bars that's, around the world, CJ? That's a good point. He looks like a child. He has a dedication. He has a dream. He's going to be someone. So they don't know whether to ID him or check if he's on some sort of <laughs> list. <laughs> All right, Hashish, do you got anything else that you would uh, you'd like to ask, that you'd like to add? Any feedback? Give me something. Do you here. drink? Or are you a proper Muslim, or are you like a like a like a Trader Joe's Muslim? I, I smoke I smoke the Hashish. Uh, okay, well then, yeah, he's a proper Muslim for sure. Yeah. Proper Muz. Yeah, yeah. Do you drink or not? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bacon. No, no, fuck me. Dude, this guy, I'm going to be honest with you. This guy, he acts like he's a fucking Muslim, but all he does is date white girls. He smokes weed all day. He's a fucking lying sack of shit. He's a, he's a Latino guy. He's basically a fucking Latino. That's exactly right. He also, he has a Grateful Dead pendant, and he doesn't even fucking listen to the Grateful Dead. Oh, that's bad. He said he got it because he likes skulls. Oh, that's sick. I, I do love skulls. That's, I mean, that's more about it. That sounds like a threat then, isn't it? It's like, oh, you like the band? It's like, nah, this could be you if you keep fucking touching my chain, lad. <laughs> oh, God. All right, anything else, Ashish? Uh, that was, you're a great lad. It was great talking to you. You know, I mean, have a What's great time in team? America. Huh? What's your football team? Uh, I don't like football, but uh, like soccer? Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. I fuck with All right. soccer. Like Ashish, basketball. Maybe I'll pull you back in later, but I'm going to get uh, somebody else good. in here. All right, sounds good. See you later, lad. All right, let's get American Dream Show. American Dream? What's up? Hey, what's up? Uh, City Morgue. City Morgue? What does that mean? <laughs> hey, look, I mean, this nothing. Is this is a wrong number. Is this is a wrong it... number? <laughs> hey, listen, I'm watching this YouTube live. I don't know who this guy is, but uh, whose jersey is that you're wearing? The guy on what the left? Everybody? Nobody's got questions for me. they got questions. Fucking LeBron James, obviously. The king. LeBron James. No, 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 no. You know who it is. Be what honest. Say Michael Jordan, behave yourself. Don't you think it's a little bit disrespectful to a dead black man to be wearing his uniform like that? LeBron is not dead. He's alive. You're a finger of Kobe. You're fucking racist. You don't know about You know what? I was calling you racist for wearing like for wearing that, but calling him LeBron is somehow more racist. So it looks like you one up me, actually. Yeah, exactly. There you go. The great American dream <laughs> show. Dude, this guy's fu this American dream show is fucked in the head, dude. He plays the Scooby Doo video game shirtless and streams it. He's what? fucking oh, a psycho, true. man. Turn your camera on, American Dream. I want to see. How do I do that? Hang on. Turn your fucking camera on. Um, I, I, I bet you want to see him. him. It's the opposite of what the American <laughs> Dream looks like. <laughs> here, take take this weed pill. Take what are you that. doing? I'm not taking. I can't turn the camera on. As soon as I roll up, you just stop giving me pills. Hello. <laughs> like, City yes. Morgue. You are exactly what I thought you would look like. That's disappointing, actually. <laughs> Hey, listen, yeah, Kyle. Kyle, I gotta give you this. You're unique. I appreciate no that. No one can man. take that away from you. Um, so, so, so are you, to be brutally honest. Do you shave your chest? Excuse me. Do you shave your chest? I don't actually. This is my natural amount of body hair. Can you really? believe it? Really? Not even this. Yeah. You don't get this little thing, do you? Oh my God! What the this? fuck? I know. The Movember. You don't get that. I think <laughs> I'm part like naked mole rat. <laughs> Not that it's important. Oh, shit. So what do you think about Kyle so far, American Dream? What do you know about him? What are your impressions? Let's hear him. I heard about Kyle on Red Bar maybe four years ago. Oh, wow. And that's okay. all I've heard about Was Kyle. I got to say. No, no. What's Red what, Bar? Well, yeah, what were they saying? Who, who, explain to him what Red Bar is. Um. Well, he uh, he was a guy who watched Nobody Likes Onions. For several years, you were on Nobody Likes Onions, right? Oh, that fucking little rat! He's like, he was like my, my friend Patrick Melton. Nobody likes onions, and apparently there's another He's your guy friend. Trying to shut him down or whatever. Yeah. Well, I mean, acquaintance. How's he doing these days? Uh, he's People want to know. 
This yeah. What? Still very much fat. I'm gonna say this: a lot of people are intrigued are by your relationship with Patrick Melton. A lot of people really? are probably gonna have questions about what that. What the fuck? Well, well I, I met Patrick Melton with him, meet him in 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 Edinburgh. I saw him this year in Edinburgh. We were hanging out in Edinburgh. Patrick, he, wait, like he was in Edinburgh this yeah. year. What's he doing? Was he doing a show? He was running a show, but he's like franchised the show. I don't know who the like, what. He thinks he's fucking Coca Cola or Pepsi wait, wait, or something wait. like that. Wait, wait, wait. He franch. What's the show that he franchised? Only Tinder. It's a popular show. Like it is a sick show, and then he makes fucking uh, money off it. And that. Uh, uh, and, what's and it called? He, um, Bumble, Bumble Me Tinders. Bumble yeah. Me Tinders. It's it's, it's, it, 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 it's it's a dating show for fucking pirates. By the sound of it. Oh I guess, my but. god, that's what he's doing. It. And he's not performing. He's just like franchising the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? That's really gay. Oh, when he came and performed, we went got a concert at Edinburgh. I think that's why. But then he ended up coming because they were running it into the ground. Oh, so yeah. the, wait, who was running it into? Who did he trust to run the show for he him? He trusted him. Oh, well, a good, uh, a good mate of mine, Catherine Henson. I don't know if you know her. She used to be a New York comedian, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, I do. She got, like, trapped in Australia. Yeah, Ugil, nasty. Yeah. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I do know her. So she was fucking up. She, she, no, no, no. Hit, no, no. They were doing a fine job, but he was just, like, creative control or whatever the fuck. And it was another oh. fat guy, Ollie Horn. So he replaced him with an even fatter guy. Which you're like, you'd want to go skinny and sexy for a dating <laughs> show. You know what I mean? Yes, you don't want a bunch of fat, disgusting pigs running a dating yeah, it's, show. It's called fucking Bumble Me Tinders, not the undateables. You know what, do you, what, I mean? what do you think about American Dream running this Bumble Me Tinders? Do you think the ladies Hang on, no, fuck like that this? question. I have one more question for I Kyle, remember. okay? All right, All right, let's hear it, Kyle, let's hear it. Are you willing to publicly disavow Patrick Melton here right now? Publicly disinv- I mean, I roast him to his face, so I'll roast him <laughs> right here for sure, yeah. That sounds like a no. That's, I mean, what, that was a yes. You know, I said I'll roast him to his face, I'll roast him right here, I don't give a fuck. What are you on about? I'll FaceTime him right now and roast the fuck out of him. FaceTime? Wait, wait, FaceTime him. FaceTime, do it. Do dude, do FaceTime, FaceTime Patrick right Melton now. right now. It's done. Don't do it. Dude, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, I'm gonna have to go widescreen. For Wait, the, can for we his, get him to call in? Widescreen. <laughs> Wait, can we, yeah, FaceTime him, see if he'll call into the show right now. Let's try to get Patrick Melton in here. Where is it? This would be awesome. What's his name? It's p Melt. great. p Melt. absolutely. There what do you go. think of this development right here, American Dream? He's about to call Patrick Melton. I mean, this is a legendary moment in C.J. Brown history. <laughs> <laughs> he has not left that room in years. I love that. The, the fucking... Do you do you do you whack off with the with the golf club, with, with the golf? Oh no, club I'm thing? sorry, I just got off the range. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> That'd be sick if you call me, you'd be like four or something like that. That'd be dope. Here we go, Patrick Melton, FaceTime. Yes, FaceTime. I don't know. Patrick I feel like Melton. Kyle is coming at me. Kyle doesn't like me. I think he likes you. I love you, lad. What are you on about? I love white golfers. <laughs> okay. Ruined it for I feel the tension. Too goddamn good. Call True. Patrick Melton. All right, here we go. He's calling Patrick Melton right now. Come on, lad. Pick up Patrick. Put down the steak. Let's see what Chad is saying about this development right here. What's he saying? Yes. <laughs> yeah, because because he got me on his bumble. He didn't answer. He, he got me. Um, I messed him answer, lad. Uh, he got me on his bumble show because. Uh, well, obviously, because I'm. Wait. Up, so what is this ladies. bumble show? Like, so it's, if it, you. It's it's it, 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 it's just a dating show. It's like for singles and couples, and we do like dating games and you just do stand up about like fucking your worst date stories so wait wait who so who is dating at the show is it like f comedians pretending to date no no, like, no, no. What it's not like it? blind you just get up there you tell like drunken stories uh, like uh, dating stories horror stories and then and then you do like games with the crowd so you get like two single people up they got like a blindfold on and they do like real life tinder where they swipe on the face and shit like that oh my god yeah it's crazy and patrick there is this comedy is involved really, how did patrick get in charge of this it doesn't seem like you would come up with this <laughs> patrick always used to wear a blazer that's the only thing he would do he would just wear a blazer he'd look like fucking like like hagrid if he went corporate or something like that like he looked like fucking it was the weirdest thing ever it looked like the fattest fucking snooker referee in the world. Dude, so <laughs> what? what is it like when you and Patrick are hanging out together? What's that whole dynamic oh, like? Oh, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a roast. Because we are quite similar, you know what I mean? Like, we're fucking, like, we're full on. And, like, we, we just roast each other, really. We just roast each other and roast each other and shit like that. Right. And we go through waves where we were, like, good mates. Then, then we can't stand each other. Then we're good mates again. Like, I've stayed with him in Vegas and all that. You know what I mean? So yeah. I know his fiance and all that shit and stuff. Really? So, Wait, yeah, what yeah. is this place like in Vegas? Does he have oh, a nice uh, I think he's moved to an even better place now. But the place before was fucking sick. Look at this creep googling me here. Yeah? 
He's lo- there we go. Maybe the king of comedy. He's looking up your gigs. There he is. No, so yeah, this is just like, Google image Kyle Legacy. That's sick. Okay, so... Type in Kyle Legacy's dick. See what comes up. American Dream. Okay, so let's say you're forced to give Kyle right now a 1 out of 10 rating. 1 being the lowest, 10 being the highest. What are you giving him? 5. Oh, shit, dude. You're fucked. What a piece of shit. Take those fucking glasses off. Look me in the eye and say it again. Like, <laughs> do it now. Notice you didn't even say what metric, but it doesn't even matter. Oh, it's the metric system? Oh, well, then I'm a 10. That's perfect. I don't think that's it's what the he was I don't think that's it's, what he was it's saying. It's degrees in Celsius. That's what you're saying, isn't it? So, so it's like five degrees ask him but then He's i'm the but then, but 100 it. fahrenheit i guess i don't know anything about the metric system have you seen my branding <laughs> hey listen i am going live at 5 p.m to cover brandon buckingham losing his fucking mind everybody out there make sure to tune in who's I brandon get going. buckingham who's oh that? brandon buckingham is oh i know what you're talking about i know what that is yeah the i dubsy type andrew callahan copycat guy yeah yep 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 What's, uh, i don't know right, this peace. what's this peace out buddy all right, so now we're gonna we're gonna bring somebody else in here. Let's bring let's bring Ian in here. Let's see what Ian has to say. Ian, what's up? You never share anything that bad. So what could they have on you? Just like you're in the other room. You're live. What's going on, Ian? Ian, what's good? Kyle. Monkey eats bananas. You there? Are you? Are yeah, Kyle. What's up, lad? Are you a real albino? <laughs> Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm actually live action Sideshow Bob, so slightly different. Oh, oh man. And you know P-Melt. I, I know P-Melt. Why is P-Melt you've such looked, a big deal? What the fuck? You've looked into the eyes. I've, I've looked into the eyes, yeah. Those dead eyes, yeah. Okay, so is he your friend or your enemy? Um, a fr- fr- fremony, probably, to be honest. Um, we well, are, what do you, we what do you, what do you things. lean more on though? Do you lean more on friend or more on enemy? Oh, I mean, I'd say enemy here, but it's funny or whatever. But I mean, like when we do meet each other, we just roast each other. You know what I mean? That's our relationship. So you mean, fr- like you that. mean friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean friends? Yeah, okay. yeah, of course, yeah. Um, and is that friend. just because you're lonely, or you really need that stand-up <laughs> spot? I mean, if you must, I need an accommodation in Vegas, really, to be really honest. But I mean, but yeah. You don't wow. know many people in Vegas. So you're saying you're so using him for lodging? Yeah. That makes sense, actually. Yeah, exactly. See, that's better. That's, that's how I met probably CJ. Probably well, very that's, good good you know <laughs> that's true. That's true. And have you ever known Patrick Melton to have a girlfriend? He's, he, he's engaged right now. Okay, I need to brush up on my Patrick. Yeah, I, was gonna say, I just he's, like he's laughing at his way. Every night or whatever. I mean, God bless her. You know what I mean? She's probably trapped under. What, him is, like, what does she look like? She's trapped under him like a fucking 127 hours. Or is something. she huge too? Nah, she's a little, little cute thing, like a little Jewish girl with glasses. She's sound. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. He really he keeps her a secret. What? He keeps her a secret, I guess. He, no, no. Well, he posted. He he done a show. I could he, engage, he, he, he proposed mid show. He was doing this like sick show with like oh. all light, all light, and all that sort of stuff. Wait, like, wait, wait. We could pull that up. You you want to watch that with us right now, Ian? When Patrick yeah, Melton yeah, proposes, and he was literally like, "I'm just gonna use like it was a great idea." But it's like he's got all the lights, he's got all the equipment. So he might as well fucking use it. The, and then obviously you're not gonna bomb if you propose, and are you? You know what I mean? Like, oh my like, god, that's, a, that's an automatic crush. I'm sharing that's my so screen cool. with you right now, Ian. Oh, okay. All right. Let's let's watch this shit. This is gonna be funny. Um, back to small. How's everybody doing? Hello, hello. Um, okay. Look, I'm head. not against getting married. I'm terrified of it. My dad was married. Why do you guys hate love? What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking insane. I'm, like, go, so I'm a little thousand, scared of it for two reasons. If she said no, this is viral. You know, what <laughs> I mean? like, she said no. This if is she viral. Says no, yeah. It's viral. Yeah. She I says mean, no he in 1080. Crying. He's already sweating. I mean, let's look at it. Let's look at this realistically here, though. So he he proposes to his girlfriend. At the end he of gets, the set. He gets 1,500 views. He gets 56 likes on the video. <laughs> Any dislikes? No. I mean, they hide the dislikes. Ah, uh, okay. So he has at least one more. <laughs> yeah, just the dislikes. You hate love you. Like, you just got engaged as well, love. I did. Yes, I did. Um... 
Everybody's saying congratulations. Yeah, obviously. Uh, yeah, EJ, we just got engaged. Would you ever do something like this for like ten, twenty thousand dollar payout? Absolutely not. This is crazy. What do you, what, what do you mean for the payout? Just like as a bonus for doing some cringe shit on stage. Um, isn't that what you guys do stand up for? I I, I mean I, I don't think you you know me. I'll do anything for twenty dollars uh, for twenty thousand. <laughs> exactly. So that was just putting friendly. a carrot at you know the end saying? of the twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. So. What do you, Ian? What do you think of that? He just said he would do anything for twenty bucks. Do you believe him when he says that? I might hit him up if I'm ever in Liverpool. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's keep Number one, I'm a, I, I figure, like, if I ever get down on one knee, I'm not sure if I can get up. <laughs> wow, that is, like, by the way... That's a sick venue, though, isn't it? It is a sick like, venue. A sick Did you hear how quickly the laughter died down? Knee, I'm not sure if I can get up. <laughs> oh, man. That's a lot of ha -ha. Number two, you gotta buy a ring. That's a lot of this? room noise. I'm gonna buy a fucking ring now. She's smart, so it's gonna have to be a nice ring, you know? <laughs> Can't just scribble on a napkin like an IOU. Well, you said she's Jewish, right? Like, she knows, yeah, yeah. she's she's gonna know. Oh, wait till you see it. I, I don't even know if she's Jewish. I'm just assuming that she is Jewish. <laughs> oh, she's gonna come on, yeah, right? Yeah, of course. Shit. It's a lot of pressure. Used to be, her mom now is sending me pictures. This is 100% true. Her mom is texting me Females, yeah. photos of diamond rings. Just in case I might be interested. It's fucking insane. I put up with it for about three days and I started texting her pictures of nursing homes. <laughs> Just in case she might be interested. <laughs> I'm no I'm try I'm paying attention to his beard. Do do you know the lore behind his beard? What? Where it's like it's it's like sharp. Like the way his hair's it, it turns into like blades. And it's too bright, dude. It's like bronze. Yeah, he's got like a bronze <laughs> beard. I heard him have sex in 2018. Oh my God. Wait, what I did was, that sound like? I was living like? with him in 2018. And a bunch of us, he just lived with us. Tell us the full Patrick Melton having sex story right now. I mean, it just seemed like somebody was like, like moving a fridge or something like that. Just like re relocating heavy furniture. <laughs> So what what happened though? A lot of, like, a lot of noises, like they just stubbed the toe, like ah ah, like that. No no no. He, he Did it sound a lot like of random grunts? Yeah, yeah. Random. I, think, I mean, she came back for seconds. So I guess. Really? Yeah, yeah. So he's fucking her like multiple times in one night. Yeah. Wow. That's Disgusting. really foul. That's <laughs> funny. You want to? That's fucking. I just watched the best for her daughter. I understand you. that. Like, I do understand that, but like. God, when I was growing up, like, the big pressure was the wedding day, not the fucking proposal. You shouldn't have be sweating about the fucking proposal. But you watch these YouTube videos now, these fucking kids, like, doing these big, elaborate surprise proposals, man. They put it together, plan that shit for months. It's a big surprise. The chick doesn't even know she's in the middle of a fucking proposal until it's fucking happening. Yeah, it's just, like, hard to imagine that this guy is running a fucking dating show. It's just, <laughs> yeah. there's something so funny That's about that. successful one as well. Like, it sells yeah. out every festival. It's ridiculous. That's wild. You know, and they hire, like, teams of people to fucking, like, film it, big production and shit. When am I ever going to get the chance to do that? Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> Oh my dude, that was I mean that like really kind of hurt. Dude, he wrote that Keep down. Going. We'll, we'll I know, I know. That. I just want to watch that moment again though. Cuz I can't even remember if he goes get down on one knee. He must do cuz she's small like to fucking like film it, big production and shit. When am I ever going to get the chance to do that? Oh god, the look. Did you see the look I was <laughs> When am I ever going to get the chance to do that? With that limp <laughs> ass wrist on the mic yeah, stand. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, the crowd isn't even like, oh. Yeah, they're, they're not following you. Bro. Yeah, they're not following. The, the crowd is very confused. I, I, think right they, now. I think they still think he's joking about like having a missus. I think that's what it is. They're like, this, <laughs> this is a good bit. That's a theory. <laughs> yeah, that's a theory. <laughs> It's not like I can just commandeer this whole fucking production, look at the back and be like, hey, can we make the lights a little more sexy in here? It's not like I can just look over at the band and be like, hey, can you guys play something a little romantic? And now she's sitting in the back watching this going, is this really fucking happening? Yeah, Danielle. 
host, my girlfriend Danielle. Can you come up on stage? Give it up for my girlfriend, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> she puts up with this. And you did not. This is what she looks yeah. like? She's cute as hell. What? what? I swear, come to him. Dude, he's, she's, she's got like a monster face. She's a Chilean mind. I haven't even seen mind. her face yet, and I'm totally impressed. I'm very, I mean, this is, there's some, she's got some type she's of got a weird... saxophone over here. Dude, this is a fetish thing right here. You know what I mean? Yeah, why is he parading her around? It's like, I know he must be proud, but this is sick. What do you know? It's a proposal. This, he wouldn't have to pay for any of this. Let's <laughs> come. I know. Oh my god, dude. Danielle, yeah, this you are is the most some weird, kinky, here we go. baby. Come on. Let's, here we go. Amazing person. You are my favorite person oh my in the God. fucking world. You are smart, funny, sexy, strong. Okay, I, now that I see her face, I'm a lot less impressed. <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? <laughs> what did he say? He said that now that I've seen her face, I'm a lot less impressed, is what he just <laughs> You're said. You're a fucking animal. <laughs> Somebody's granddaughter, you piece of shit. Ian, that was, that was pretty mean, man. I'm still happy for him. Fuck. I'm still, okay, well, then that's fine. I mean, I'm happy as for him. As long as you're a fan of love, then that's fine. I'm happy man. for him, but I'm just, like, so confused. Like, why Why would she pick him unless, like, is she, like, Baltic? I feel like Baltic women, they like, people, like women from, like, Bulgaria and shit, like, all the men look like this, so they have, like, a fetish for guys that look like this. That's, I don't know if they look Do like that, but they all wear big jackets. So yes. the illusion. The is illusion. The layers. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah. she looks like the type of girl that just escaped a cult. Yes. Yeah, like kind of like religious. Yeah. I can't imagine another day in my life without you by my side. I love you so fucking much. You are, you are the best part of every day. You are the best comedy writing partner I could ever ask for. Oh my and you are my God. best oh, well, friend. Like, it, I have to do this now. <laughs> like an adult. <laughs> Look at the height difference here, though. The, the eye, I, the eye. What? Wow. Fucking fee five fo fum Jesus Christ. That's crazy. Look at this. She's like a child. She looks like a child almost. She, she, she should have said no just quickly, just for the funniness. For, for, the, for, the, for the, the funniness, yeah, for the bit. For yeah. the bit. If that was if she was a comedian, th th you'd say no, wouldn't you? You know what I mean? Just right I quick. see. He, you know that he was expecting a million views for this. No, I don't think I don't. No, no, I don't think he was doing it because of that. I think he was doing it because like, like, he had the fucking setup. He's like, I might as well use it. I feel like I. I, I mean, I he think... expected this to go viral. I mean, I mean, I, I, I don't because he's. He, I don't think he's good. He, he's not good with. The, I mean, he's good with the online stuff like selling shows, but he's not good with the socials. Like, he doesn't really post that much. You know what I mean? What, so, do, what do you think about that, Ian? Know. Like, do, what, what do you think uh, Patrick's expectations were with this proposal video? I think he wanted to at least put this on DVD and at highest expectations go viral on fucking TikTok. Something like, yeah, like, or at least like, you, like think, the he's local selling, newspaper. you think he's selling like wedding merchandise after the show. So as soon as he gets off stage, he's like, get your, your Patrick mugs, your happy wedding mugs, all that stuff. Yeah, he'll. he'll He'll sign it and send it to his three fucking podcast fans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's see what she says. Will you marry me? Wait, wait, look at that. Look at his fucking huge hands and the size of that box right there. Is that the box or the ring? I think that's a box. That's it. Look at how small it looks in his hands. That's crazy. <laughs> Did she even answer? Oh, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you cool. like I Jesus? Said, I like, love you. I love you. It's, it's like a little mole man enough. feeding its baby. Dude, you might as well start fucking sucking his dick up there. Why are you guys? <laughs> Ew! Like, dude, what? Dude, couple he's kisses? Like devouring her. I'm going to that wedding for sure. Oh fuck I yeah! Have to. 
Bring me as your I'll plus stream. one. I'm streaming. Yeah, stream. <laughs> oh my God, Kyle! If you stream Patrick Melton's wedding, I'd are watch you guys that. hearing this shit right here? <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, you would get hundreds of views. That's hilarious. Dude, people, I'm I'd telling watch. you, Wait. people would want to see that. This is more views than what the Meghan Markle wedding. You might more views than your stand up. What? More views than your stand up, probably. I mean, all right. Well, that's a little bit. Who's got... who roasting at this point? What are you all about? <laughs> so much. Pretty. I'm the most. Oh, bitch. Jimmy, put it on. Wow, that's a. Oh, well, you can't follow video. that with stand up. You can't go back on no, stage. You can't you, be like, yeah, I'm not to deal with. Wow, that was really insane. I was fucking this hooker the other day. <laughs> <laughs> so what what'd you think of all that? You got any thoughts about that? Um, yeah, what, what do you think about him proposing in that way? It was even more cringe than I thought it was going to be, and I'm sorry that I even came in here. Wow. Ian is not a hopeless romantic, is he? So anything else you got to add for uh, for Kyle? Anything? How any would last you propose, words? Ian? Yeah, how would you propose? I bet you, you would just be like, just be like, yo, just throw it up to her or something like that or whatever. Just ultimate uh, Classic uh, lake scene backdrop with some jet skis and shit. We go party <laughs> afterwards. Some I don't jet fucking skis. Know. Oh, so if she says no, maybe she just falls in the river. And yeah, and then you could time. fucking still have a good time at the beach. There you go, exactly. Oh, I like that. So you've got like... The jet ski's ready, just in case she says no. Then you jump on it like a, a 50 first date scenario. Adam Sandler, just in a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's my getaway. I like that. That's sick. All right, well, thank I you very like much. It'd be, funny if, it'd be funny if she's waiting at the end of the pier. You rock up, just drench her. Or something like that. It's like, <laughs> I am marrying you. Look at the stadium. You know what I mean? And then you come back, you're like, oh, I'm sorry, baby. Hair dry it off. And then you, and then you engage. That's wild. Man. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's wild. Mm. Um, yeah, anything else you want to add, Ian? Nope. I'll see you later, bro. All right. Peace out. Well, We're was... asking questions that, to someone who's definitely going to die alone. But, you know, <laughs> Ian oh, is like, wow. Ian's like, I don't know. Let me ask my mom. <laughs> yeah, you. Th so you think that he's going to die alone. Wow. I mean, I mean he might. He might. You know, you never know. I mean, it, it, I've made a suicide with him for sure. What'd you think of Ian? Do you think he was a little bit too hostile towards you? I mean, I don't, I, 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 I want to see him. I, he's hiding behind, he's hiding behind the camera. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah. Well, maybe he'll. I mean, he. I've seen him before. He's a, he's a decent looking guy. Ian. Uh, okay. He. He's normal looking. Some of these people do. They, that's coming from you. That's coming from me. <laughs> Listen, some of these people you they look do. like an emoji. I know. <laughs> these, dude, these people, they do hide behind their fucking screen names. We've had some weird stuff go on in this Discord right here. Yeah. So there's this one guy who convinced a girl that he was in a wheelchair to try to get, like, sympathy nudes out of her and shit. Yeah. How fucking weird is that? What, 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 so, so, so we bought the wheelchair? No, he would just talk about he would talk about how his legs were atrophied and his friend would do physical therapy with oh, him okay. on Thursdays, but it was like all a lie. And he got the nudes? No, I don't think. Well, um, that's up in the air. I don't know about okay. that. And I don't know if he did it to get nudes. That's like a speculation. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. So we don't even know if that's how it is, but yeah, yeah. that's the type of shit that goes on in Discord. Uh, I mean, I'll send you a dick pic, lad, if you want. Yeah, for sure. Anybody, if you want to, first of all, look Kyle. Only if you're in a wheelchair. Kyle though. Legacy, he is willing to accept dick pics, so please send him some dick pics. No, 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 the <laughs> other way around. I want dick pics. Oh, you send him your dick pics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could I say my dick's so big that it, it will probably put you in a wheelchair anyway, just from the side of it? Oh, so, so that's what I'm saying. All right, so now we but got. Don't send me dick pics, please. We got I'm a new guy. We got a new guy. So we got Harry nice. in here right now. What's up, Harry? I'm Harry's not old dudes. I'm not expecting. Hey, hey we got a woman. Hello, here. Well, we have Martina. I know Martina, but then she should. And maybe and maybe left. Bex might call him later oh, okay, too. So yeah. we'll see. What's up? Hello. Who's this? This is Harry. What's up, Harry? Hello. Um, how you doing? Chilling, lad. Chilling. What about you? I'm nothing much. Just uh, you know, just have myself some dinner and watching TV. I'm from Somerset. Oh, baby! Yeah, is that good? Yeah, well, he's from the UK. Well, yeah. how is Somerset? What do you think uh, of Somerset? Somerset? What's that God's country? York? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, yeah. yeah no, yeah. I'm from um, I'm, from, I'm from Taunton. Taunton. Oh, okay. By Taunton. the way, that's some fucking bullshit that they call it God's country. What an arrogant it's fucking... It's so stupid. They call it God. If I was God, I would want to live somewhere where I could get fucking 4G. 
It's fucking. It's it's <laughs> farmland there. over there. Yeah. Dude, wow. yeah, it's very farm. It's very farmland. It's very um, pretty much very Wurzelsy. If if um, it, that's the famous band in the area, the Wurzels. If Carl Wurzels? knows who that. Yeah. This is getting too fucking. Exactly. I was gonna say they they, they sound like the fucking knockoff version of the Wiggles. I, this stream <laughs> might be a little too fucking oi brum for my uh, fucking taste hey, over the, here. This is the, a little. The, much. The, 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 no, the Wurzels are like a um, they're like a country kind of band. I'm surprised oh, you've God. never heard. Of You've not, I'm surprised you never heard of it, Carl. The you've Weirzels heard a song on, on YouTube. The Weirzels? Yeah. All right, we'll listen to some Weirzels music right now. How do you type it so in? It's, so it's the Weirzels. W sorry, W U R Z E L S. Yeah, Combine Harvest from their famous right, perfect, song. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And these are from your local town? No, these are from my local county. Okay, oh, so okay. I'm gonna share. Right. I'm gonna share my uh, screen with you so you can listen along with us here. So I know exactly the song off the top of my head. Wurzels, all right. <laughs> he said, I don't need the lyrics. <laughs> Kyle will know what the song is called. Okay, oh, what the fuck wow. is this? I threw me pitchfork and your dog to keep quiet. Now someone's telling me What is this? That you might lie to me. Come on now, darling, you are something I need. Million more views than Patrick Melton's wedding video. Oh, God, it. <laughs> it's got way more than four million more views than Patrick hey, Melton's. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. and Patrick yeah. Melton's yeah. nickname in high school was the Tractor. So, so it's it's it, it's relatable. It's it's, it's se we've segued that very well. <laughs> oh, this song! I've heard this before. They're from my local area. They play like oh, no. the side them of around, and like. Are they like drunks in the pubs now, or what? No, no, so they're not from my local. T so they li they live all over the over the county. Oh, okay. um, uh, so they do. They... Hey, Harry, do you do you have any like specific questions for Kyle? Anything you're curious about with Kyle? Like, I'm curious. have you have you heard about the, these uh these deaf noodle comedy roasts? Is that okay, is that come to him the Deaf noodles comedy situation. That'd be pretty funny. Yeah, explain you about that. You, Im you imagine that a YouTuber who is the most unfunny comedian tries to get a bunch of comedians who are not great, basically like Edward, um, and they try to roast each other, and it's all like too, it's all like too PC. It's very like nobody really goes very hard. Uh, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. If, if you're not calling someone a faggot in a roast, I, I don't want to know about it. Quite yeah, right. it's all like it's all like yeah, it's all like it's, it's typical kind of LA, like lots of like. It's, it's just, you, yeah, and uh, one of... I, 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 with my roast, I want some live bullying, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I mean, look at me, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a heckless wet dream, I'm a roaster's wet dream, you know what I mean? I mean, Dude, I, I was just... Roast me, you're fucked, really, like, aren't you? I, was, I just I was look gonna, at chat gonna... and somebody goes, looking chunkier, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, Cal, you kind of look like Calvin Robinson. Who? Who? Cal, he's a, he's a, um, he's a... A conservative like activist. Calvin Irwin. So, I, 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 I thought you I thought he was a football player. I was like, what team's he played for? Calvin Robinson. What's your team? Um, I'm a Reading and Chelsea supporter. Ah, okay. Two teams, fuck off. Oh shit. Oh my <laughs> lord, that's so funny. Is he what? Calvin <laughs> Robinson? That's I've yeah. never got that before. That's a brand new roast. I love that. <laughs> that's so yeah. good. Oh my lord, yeah. This is me at the wedding. Click this. <laughs> you know, as soon as I saw it, I was like, "Fuck me, Calvin's getting into comedy." Jesus. That's so I'll funny. That. It looks like I'm, it looks like if me and Echol have a, had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would, you would look good if you started wearing sweaters like this. By the way. <laughs> the sweat. Do you reckon I can put off the sleeves? Dude, sweater bottom, <laughs> jersey over sweater. Oh my lord, yeah. Just look like I just yeah. came from basketball and cricket practice. <laughs> I was like, I, literally, I'm not doing this. This is when outrageous. When I, this. When I, is when this, I saw the people film. know him because, because obviously, as you know, like you know, Liverpool is like fucking. I mean, we call ourselves the the People's Republic of Liverpool. Like we're, we're like we say we're not British, we're Scouts. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. So, so is is he is he well known in England? This guy. Or is it like, he's well, is an outdated he's, thing? He's, Wait, before you say that, let me just say really quick, guys. So we are doing call-ins right now. So again, if you guys are listening, if you're new, if you're trying to call in, I am going to drop the link in the comments. So Boom. if you guys want to call in, 
just join the Discord, join one of the voice channels, and then I will drag you in. So, uh, sorry to cut you off there, Harry. Um, yeah, don't worry about what it. Are you just saying. So I, he's sort of well known, but kind of not, kind of he's not like he's not like um, fucking Paul Joseph Watson famous. Like that, yeah. Yeah, he's he's well he's well known, but not like massively well known. When was he? How old is he now? Because that's an old photo. Was he old now? He's in his thirties, I think. Ah, okay. He's he's not that old. Whether if he was was my real dad or whatever or something like that. Maybe. No, he's still alive. Oh, but he's no, he's on. He's my age. He's still. Yeah, he's about similar age, but the way he acts, he imagine if you started speaking like um, Jacob Rees-Mogg. That's basically. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's him in a nutshell. But no. So what what do you think of this, Harry? So we have Kyle here. Kyle is from Liverpool, but he's also like kind of a wigger. Like he's like into basketball and shit. Yeah. Is that like a normal Liverpool thing? Is that like uncommon? I mean, most Liverpool puddians, if they're into a sport, it's football. Like they, yeah, you know, a lot yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. And you're he's into I'm basketball into. though. So oh what's no, up but with I mean, that? I'm a big, I'm a big Liverpool. You know what I mean? You're like, you're a Liverpool yeah, head too, I mean, but you're into I mean, basketball. Well, it's I just wore this tonight because um, I mean, I no, got... but you are into basketball. Yeah, exactly. Though. Well, that's because um, well, I mean, I got laid last night, so I'm wearing the same clothes that I was wearing yesterday. What up, really? baby? Wait, um, what's her name? Let's pull up a picture. Definitely of not. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no one. And uh, uh, so, but yeah, normally I wear basketball or football jerseys, but obviously I'm a Liverpool fan. You never walk alone like that. But um, it, it, I was going to say, you would know, everybody, I was the original Ketwig lad. Do you know what a Ketwig is? Yes. Yeah, so everybody's yeah. got hair like what me now. Fu- Wait, what is that? So a Ketwig is like this. So it's like, it's meant to be like like all scallies that do cats have hair like mine now because <laughs> they don't cut it and shit like that. Yeah. And they just let it grow. But I was the original one. So back in the day, they used to like fucking beat me up and that for, for like fucking having hair like now this. Now they all have now, it. Now, now they're like, oh, before we bash you, what's your hair regime? You know what oh. I mean? Like they're asking, it's fucked, yeah. So I always say I'm the original. Do people was. like, is that it? Th- will you get like jumped in, in the UK? Are, are people more likely to fight you out there? I, I mean, Liverpool, the stereotype is, I mean, this fucking little fucking posh Somerset motherfucker probably thinks Liverpool's rough or whatever because that's what it's no, it's not. like. Honestly, but, honestly, not Liverpool, I don't think Liverpool's that rough. I think if you go, I mean, huh? I've been to, I think I've, I've heard less like, like. Liverpool, uh, like, Scouts are some of the friendliest people in the world, lad, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely, oh, yeah. I mean, we, you know. We, we always shake your hand, otherwise, how the fuck are we going to get your watch off? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no, no, I've heard, I've heard that. But it's like here, every every city's got a rough area, you just don't go, you know what I mean? Absolutely, yes. Like, I'm not walking yes. through fucking talk stuff, but also that's being I mean, gentrified the same way fucking Brooklyn has, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that's what I've and heard, like yeah. That, like, so. I heard, like, the waterfront or whatever, yeah, it's, yeah, like, yeah. really gotten nice. Oh, yeah, and then, obviously, like, back in the day, like, I've been jumped a bunch of times when I was a kid and shit like that. But then you'd see him on the fucking bus the next day, you know what I mean? And he'd be like, oh, I thought you were someone else. I was like, I'm the only kid with a fucking afro. And right, fucking Liverpool, you're pretty like, recognisable, exactly. Um, yeah, exactly. I mean, and then you've got to pay it's, him it's, because he's the bus driver and shit, so it's a whole ordeal. Yeah. <laughs> it's, Everybody's it's, beating the shit it, out of everybody, it's fucked. I mean, every, like I said, every town's like, it's even, even Taunton is like getting sort of quite rough because we're having all the people from like different parts of the country move here. Oh, so t- kind of... I'd love to hear the fucking news report. In Liverpool, it's like, this just did, mass shooting, 16 people dead, Taunton is like, the local sheep is blocking the main road or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you're on about? No, it's not like it's not like Liverpool, like Manchester, Burnham, rough, but like it's still getting, you know, you big, like... You got a lot of flashes out there? What's that? I feel like that would be big flashing community, like people like flashing their dick out and shit. Oh yeah, no, we do get we do we had a we had a gimp running around some of the villages. You know, what the fuck? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! You had a gimp. Every run- city's got one. Like we got crazy Carl in like Halewood and shit. He just runs around with his dick out and all that sort of shit. Really? Yeah. 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 What? And everybody just knows you. Like, oh yeah, that's Carl. Whatever. Yeah, there's, there's a guy. He, the, tree, the, police the police don't know who he. The police don't know who he is. He just runs around like yeah. scaring people in a gimp suit. Like. Oh no! Yeah. Oh, but my ass is different. Ours is like everybody knows him. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like, Wait, pe- so there's a guy that runs around, like, are you saying, like, a gimp suit, like, from Pulp Fiction, like, the guy that lives in a box? Like, yeah, like a leather gimp, like a latex gimp suit, Oh, yeah. my God, what the what? fuck? What type of weird-ass S&M bullshit is that? That's crazy. I mean, there's lots of weirdos. There's lots of Imagine weirdos all over the UK. Like, like, what did he shine up in the sky when they need him to come out? <laughs> You guys have a such silhouette a, of an anal bead or something like that. You guys have such a <laughs> fucking disgusting scumbag country. <laughs> like, I what got the one, fuck? One, one question um, for you. Do you know who Pepe Lackey is? 
I've heard of the name, yeah. Oh, it did travel, all right. So that's Liverpool's um, most famous um, pedo rapist. And um, it, it's... <laughs> it's <laughs> what? Well, that's why I got to say pedo rapist, because obviously Jimmy Savile is our most famous pedo. Yes, you can agree of on course. That, we all know like, Jimmy Seville. He, 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 he's yes. a goat, you know what I mean, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Seville? Just, just trying to make it a bit fancy, are you? Jimmy, Jimmy Savile. Seville. Jimmy Fixer. Jimmy Fixer. Jimmy Fixer? Jimmy Fixer. What is it, Fixer? Mm. Or... I mean... Oh yeah, I don't know if you know the story of uh, Jimmy was so kind he got a uh, he got a young girl to milk a cow blindfolded. You know how very kind of him. <laughs> <laughs> so I might get that. Like, he, would, he was a, he, he'd go after young boys like 17, 18, 16, but he'd only go against he'd only go to the big like tough ones. Yeah. So I was fine because I'm all cardio. You know what I mean. <laughs> and that's the only reason I didn't go to the gym. I was like, I'm not gonna try. To... <laughs> I don't want to be a target, you know what I mean? If I start lifting weights, maybe that's a bullseye. You know what I'm saying? Um, so he was a big, massive black dude. He was so black, he was purple. That's why we call him Purple Lackey. Um, ah, okay. Like, he's fit. Get him up, get him up. Wait, who's this guy? this guy? Purple Lackey. Purple Lackey? Yeah, purple. And, then, and this is one of the freaks from... Uh... This is Liverpool. This is our favorite. This is our, 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 the Liverpool's best pedo rapist. This guy, So this, this guy's guy, a yeah. pedophile rapist. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. He seems nice. He seems nice. <laughs> he's approachable. You, 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 you want him squatting you on the bench, do you? Dude, he looks cool. What are you talking about? You're Look crazy. at him. This so how he's so what? Did people know him for being a pedophile, oh, yeah, or was he known? People get photos with him because of because he's famous. Yeah, but what is he famous for besides being a pedo? Oh, I think he was like, oh no, he got famous for being a pedo, but I think he was like a bodybuilder back in the day or whatever, like he's a massive dude, you know what dude, I mean? Dude, he is black. Look at how black he is. Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's purple. Oh my god. I know. That's fucking insane. I'm not I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, he gives off like Raoul Moat vibes. Who? Ra Raoul Moat. Who's that again? Raoul Moat's the one that, um, Went crazy in the north. I can't remember. I think it was northeast. This was like back in two thousand four. He was a guy that shot. Everybody? Wait, wait. So what I don't understand. So this guy is all happy and taking photos with a, pe a known pedophile. I is mean, that what's I, going I, on I, here? I, 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 yeah. I mean, he's out now. Yeah. So I mean, why would you they tell me you wouldn't get a photo with Cosby? If Cosby brought Cosby off? isn't a pedophile. Like this. That's de like. That's why? where you draw the line, is it? Yes, I think that's a fair that's a fair line to draw. Sixty two women, I ID'd them all. They were eighteen. It's fine. I, you know, this they were guy eighteen and already tired. What I'm saying, you're you're twisting this narrative. What I'm saying is, this guy looks really fucking happy for taking photos with a pedo. Well, well, it's like I mean, I guess it's like they were not really a pe they were like 17, 18, 19, so they were like. Is it sixteen the age of consent in the UK? I mean, yeah, exactly, but not if you get. Rape by Pepper Lackey, obviously, you know what I mean? So this guy just loves rape? Yeah, so he's like, you know when he's like a, when, at the gym when everybody's like, one more set? Yeah. He brings that into the into the streets. I'm so, this whole situation is so good. <laughs> yeah, it's out of control here. I'm trying to, who else in Liverpool? Um, yeah, give me you know, some other, famous. give me some other, like, Liverpool freaks. Oh, I mean, like, uh, full freaks, like, I mean, there's, like, I mean, Steven Gerrard's not a freak. He's here, wait, like, what's the guy's at purple, freak. here, let me check out Purple Lackey on yeah. YouTube. Um, purple lackey, and let me share my screen. So um, the fact that Count Danko did a video on him says something. I mean, you know Paddy the Baddy as well. He's not a freak. He's I know Paddy the Baddy. I like Paddy. Everybody the since I've been here is like, oh, you know Paddy uh, the Baddy. You know Paddy the Baddy. Absolute mad Paddy. lads. We've all Paddy's heard the, the jokes. Thing is, like, Paddy isn't yeah, this like... is fucking. Uh, what's his name? This is uh, Count Dankula. You know this guy? Yeah. Uh, so Count Dankula, he's Scottish. He. Uh, almost went to jail for teaching his pug to do the Roman salute. You mean he the did. Salute? Yeah. The Hitler salute. Yeah, they call, that's a that's a Roman salute. That's what they call oh, it. Really? Oh. Uh, but yeah, he taught his pug how to do it for like a YouTube video. That's so. And they funny. threw him in jail. How, on what on what grounds? On the grounds that you you have a shit ass country that doesn't have free speech. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, no. that is. what the Isn't fuck? that crazy? I mean, he's a fucking Nazi for doing that. Obviously, Please, but I'm Max. saying like. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, you that's know, the cutest. Yeah. That's the cutest, like hail I've ever seen. A little pug's face. Clip it. Clip it. By the way, guys. Clip it's, it. It, 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 it. It's out. Of, it's like you know how cute little pugs are with their face. They're always out of breath. That's the cutest, like hail like, in the world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Isn't it though? Dude, people are gonna be screenshotting you doing a Roman salute. <laughs> like, no, 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 imagine that. Usually, watching it, they're like, oh, what the fuck? Ah, oh, but look how cute he is. You know what I mean? Like. 
what happens in the prison showers. It, 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 I will say, of... what's funny is that, um, see, it, the Count Dankler used to be like a militant communist back when he was in, when he was young. Did he? Oh, uh, yeah, I could see yeah. that, of course. Wait, so let me, let me just see some video of this. Name that's whispered in the parks and playgrounds of Merseyside. A bogeyman that nobody was really sure the even. Bogeyman. The bogeyman. You guys fucking talk like you got peanuts in your uh, mouth. My, 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 fr my, my friend, Martin Prendergast, took chase from him back in the day. Isn't A threat made Absolute to kids. Lads. Watch out, or Purple will get you. A lot of people thought that Purple Aki was just some urban legend that would scare kids from wandering the streets alone at night. All the tales told of some extremely loud- I, lo I love that in like, in England the stories are of like black people that wander the streets. That's like the ultimate scary thought in somebody's head. Wait, um... It's the UK's answer to the booty warrior. <laughs> you, you're being racist, you don't want to come with me because I'm black. Turns out calling someone racist has a lot more uses than just avoiding debate. Oh, that's anyway, how he went in the law courts, and, like, and this is where it gets a bit weird. He took him into the courthouse. He'd be like, no, and then he'd be like, oh, you don't want to come with me because I'm black. So he'd, like, free, he'd be like, oh, well, I don't want to be racist. So he'd like, go, he'd go with him and shit. Is it Purple Aki? Purple Aki. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was Purple Aki, yeah. yeah. Don't be shy, lad. Oh, Tom's going out the area, Why are you doing around here, bro? Get out the area, lad. Get out the area, bro. See areas. <laughs> Dude, this is so British. Fuck. Get up. Well, you know, you know, pedo hunters. Oh, pedo hunters. Yes, we love. Yeah, oh, we have a couple okay, favorites. Nice, yes, I'll, yes. I'll show you. I'll show you some of our yeah. favorite pedophile hunters. Actually, that's a fun thing we'll do after we talk about this. We'll watch some. Uh, it's called People v Preds. It's my favorite okay, pedophile yes, hunter. Sure. All right, we'll watch some of that. Go on. Get out the area, lad. Get out the area, Here, by man. the way, smoke, smoke some weed. I'm all right for now. I'm You're all right. Hey, boys. I keep... I keep, I keep wait, I, ever since... The second that Kyle got in here, I started handing him pills. I started handing him weed. <laughs> like, literally the second he got in here. But pill fall is the weirdest. Like, <laughs> yeah. Look at this. I take my fucking weed in pill form. Look at that. Sick, that is, isn't it? They're nice. So what happens here? It's like just like an edible, is it? If that's only five milligrams, so it's just a nice light little thing. Oh, that's like the lighter. lowest amount. Yeah, take it. Take it, take it, take it. All right, now I'm going to click on the Purple Aki video here. Be careful, lads. Be careful. Get out the area, lads. Get out the area, lads. Yeah, what? What? Do you want, lads? Fuck off, you little fucking bastard. Nonce bastard. Oh, that's what we call people. Be careful, lads. Get out the area, lads. Fuck off, out the area. You know what we call pedophiles? Uh, we call Daddy. Them, we call them chomos. What? Uh, child molester. Really? See, that's what they call them in prison. They call them chomos. That's sick. Well, <laughs> that looks like Mexican uh, almost. Nonce, yeah. nonce, nonce, nonce is a prison term from back in, I think, it's Northampton prison. Oh. This guy fact checks everything. I love it. Dude, Harry's great. <laughs> Harry's awesome. <coughs> I heard of this really funny story. So there's this guy. He, like, went to jail for, like, making threats in a video game. You ever heard of RuneScape? Yeah. Yeah, so he was playing RuneScape, and he, like, threatened somebody, and he to went... To murder them, or...? No, 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 just, like, talking shit, like, oh, in a okay, chat room. Yeah. And he went to jail for, like, I think it was, like, seven years over just talking shit. And so he went to... You will get no respect in prison, in, the, no, sh in no. the showers for that. So he went to fucking federal prison. He went to, like, a serious federal prison. What? And I guess he was, like, really into Dungeons & Dragons, and there was, like, a whole group of people that played Dungeons & Dragons, and they were all the fucking pedos. They were the chomos. So he couldn't be... He couldn't play Dungeons & Dragons because people think yeah, he's, like, a fucking yeah, chomo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, he was like, God damn, why aren't there any fucking child molesters that will play this game? Because if you play, you're fucked. Now everybody is yeah, going to, yeah, like, yeah, target course, you yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. Right. You little dirty nuns. Run them over, like... <laughs> Run the fucking bastard over, bro. Get out the area. Lad, fuck off out the area. Yeah, see, this is more the type of shit I would expect. Like of that course. white, that white guy. I mean, I was surprised about that fucking the photo with him. Like, like if that I, was weird. If I saw him, I'd fucking take a photo like on me Instagram, like you know what I mean, like for, like right. from a distance or whatever. But I wouldn't go and be like, do you want to get a photo? I mean, yeah, you wouldn't want to. In theory, it is funny, but it's also like, I mean, you get a fuck. He's a fucking nonce. You know what I mean? So it's. Oh, yeah. Like, see, see, see. CJ, it, it stands for, it's from it's from HMP Wakefield originally, and it stands for not on normal communal exercise. What the fuck? I don't even know what that means. I love, I, I feel like British people are so good with acronyms for stuff. 
Like, uh, you know the fucking cyclists with the skin-tight bike suits? They call them mammals. It's a, what is it, middle-aged man in Lycra. Ah, uh, that's funny. That Isn't that thing. good? <laughs> well, we got a few so, in the club. No, no, no. still don't know what we, like, we, we call taxis and, and Ubers Jobs. Jobs? And nobody knows why we do that. Like, I've asked my uncle, and he's like, I don't know, we've always called them that. We called food, scran, but that's in other places. That's like Scotland, they call it that as well, you know what I mean? Like, Okay. Uh, I mean, like since, we, since, we call drinks bevies. You know what I love? You guys call bevied. you guys call your whores uh, slags. Slags. Yeah. I love that. Slag is so good. And if we hate it, like if we're calling somebody a cunt, we'll call them a rat. Like you fucking little rat. That's worse than cunt. Yeah. Like what would you call me? Like a dog or something like that. I yeah, a dog yeah, is good. Call, a rat, good. Yeah. call somebody a rat. Uh, like I'm surprised. Listen to this. He might call me a rat at the end. Yeah, I'm surprised. Right. Yeah. You're not allowed around here, bro. You little dirty nonce. And it's not racist because that guy's black. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let's watch another one. Was this? Oh, no, that chase it, lad? That's that's what we just watched. Ah, uh, okay. No, this. Don't you follow me? Purple fucking Aki. I know you. He's looking nice. Ah, fucking no, you purple fucking Aki. Get going now. You in the floor, treat you like oh, a fucking clown. You shag your little bum, fill you with his bro, You know what I mean? He's like, huge. He's, he's, he's like a uh, well, he's an ex-bodybuilder. Like he was a world champion and shit like that. You like. know the movie Candyman? But he's not even from Liverpool. People think he's scouts and he's not. Dude, the whole city is full of pedos, man. Oh, on. Candyman, yeah, I've seen that. You know, like the big black guy with the yeah. hook. Wait, there's an original Candyman, is there? Yeah, there's an original one. Oh, I thought that. And he was black as well? He was black I as thought well. that, um, like, the guy don't get out. I thought he was just making, like, a black version of Candyman. So no, no, this is, can black. this is can Candyman's, like, a big black homeless guy. So that's kind of like this purple non pur purple acky guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit. A little Candyman-esque, <laughs> I would say. Again, he help you lift your weights while you say no. <laughs> oh my god, um, purple Aki. Yeah, no, oh my god. Another 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 name that we call uh, cyclists. I think um, Kyle's heard this name, maybe, and it's Lycra Nazis. Ah uh, yeah, we just call them fucking yeah. virgins, but <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh well, I, I normally call, I normally call them Green Party members, but there you go. Um, <laughs> so he, he starts talking about fucking like like he'll go up to him and be like oh you go to the gym do you like oh i run a gym or he'll lie about that and then he'll start touching your muscles really that's how he gets you so he does like the muscles and then eventually obviously, so this fucking like, creep just starts like touching you on the bus what well, normally he used to do it in gyms but now he's obviously banned from all the fucking gyms he is fucking, yeah of course what are you on about yeah. where does he work out i fuck knows now like nowhere that's why he's got fat as shit like is he I mean, homeless? he's in prison for a bit and stuff. Nah, nah, he's fucking... He was in, like, witness protectors for the, for ages and shit like that as well, because people were trying to kill him, obviously, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> um, but yeah, wild shit like that. Dude, what? This is a like, crazy... Like, look at this fight again. Look at him, he's, like, showing him, like... This is a crazy wormhole right here. Like, I was playing basketball the other day, and then my friend was like, hey, Pippa Lackey lives in my building. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Crazy. He was like, yeah, I'm stuck working out. I was like, yeah, that's for the best. Dude, that's yeah, fucking that was a fucking... Like. This is like a horror movie. It's crazy, you know? He is literally the real-life Candyman. Yes. That's insane. I'm gonna you're say it on the stage. Oh, uh, no. Do it. Where from? Where? Being <laughs> molestered by Purple Lackey. Shook. Oh, is he like Dahmer, where he likes little black boys, or does he have a preference? Nah, he like, he, like that's the thing. He, he doesn't pick on like the weak. He picks on like the fucking big, like you know really. What I mean? so, he, so he wouldn't go for me and and you because you know what I mean. Like we're not fucking Jack. So that's the thing. Yeah. He wants he wants muscle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he wants like children with big muscles. He wants like sixteen to nineteen muscles. Yeah. But sixteen is legal. Yeah, but no, not when it's rape. Oh, he raped a 16 yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Wait, but... Oh, maybe younger, maybe like 15 and that, but yeah, it's, cause it's they... not like they have to be able to be in the gym, you know what I mean? Like, you got... Because no that's, what, in that's the, what I don't get. In the gym, you know so what I mean? it, it's like, um, you know, it, I'm sure there's... It, it's socially acceptable for, like, older... Yeah, how is that? Like, an older guy dating, like, somebody right at the age of, uh, consent. Like, I don't, I feel like they wouldn't call you a nonce. So, 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 so right? when, when I was younger, like, my, uh, my, uh, one of my best mates, Jay, his sister, was dating, like, 
this she was like maybe like 14 and he was like 18 yeah and, 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 and we are like 15 and like because you know what i mean like obviously if it, it, it if if it's consensual it's a common thing over here. Her, then it's all right you know what i mean so yeah i think she was like 15 and she oh, and he was like 19 or maybe she was 16 and he was like 20 and we were like um this guy's the coolest guy ever he, he had a car he was giving us lifts and then we were talking about it a month ago and i was like yo he was a fucking nonce. Yeah, but the, no, no. Me, no. So mean, like, like night, like the night. That's like a five year. I'm talking more like if somebody's like 35 and dating like a 17 year old. Oh well, then thing. it's like I mean technically it's legal, but I mean it's like it's frowned upon. But what I'm saying the is parents like parents aren't gonna be happy about that. Are you yeah. you wouldn't call the guy a would you call the guy a nonce? Would would I mean if it was my no. for sure, yeah. Like, so, I mean, like, wait. Oh, I just banged this twenty-year-old. Showed me. I'll probably have five of them. I'm if literally. Like, I banged this sixty-year-old. I'd be like, don't even get your fingerprints on me, lad. I'm like, just trying to understand how fucking sick in the head people from Liverpool are. That's all I'm trying to figure out here. He's paper like he's not from Liverpool. That's what I'm saying. He just operates in Liverpool. I like he's how I like how you rap, keep you fuck. keep defaulting back. Exactly. You're like this scumbag is giving Liverpool know, a bad it name. It is, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, is that what's going on? So he, that's how he's getting yeah, yeah, I'm a good person, giving half a chance, you know, and putting yeah. me muscles and all that. They don't hold that against me. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. respect, you get no love from the media. Yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. being a black man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why does he feel more black? No, no, trans, but uh, you two, you know, you're doing any good. I'm alright, yeah. No, no, listen, I'm talking, listen to me, I respect you. Yeah. Uh, Clara says I'd call people a nonce for less. Cl oh, sorry, Clara. Clara, call in, please. Black man, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So don't, don't be nervous of me. Don't, you know, so don't look at none of that. Yeah, you know, don't have to. That's creepy, that is. Oh my god, he said don't be nervous yeah. with me? What, what a fuck? fucking creep, man. This is a famous pedophile nah, I... that lives in Liverpool but is not from Liverpool. Yeah. Is what we're so, so, like, he's so, a personal so, trainer. Did I try to touch your muscles? No, nah, I just said you, you said to me yeah, do no, work no, out. No, hang on. Did I try to touch your muscles? No, nah, he said do you work yeah, out. There you though. go. I did. Nah, so, 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 he's a so, personal so, trainer. Did I try so that, that's what he does. He goes exactly. up and he's like, do you work out? Yeah, yeah, and boom, then he. Boom, <laughs> boom. <laughs> oh, shit. That's Damn. Crazy, though, I know. Um, wait, what are, what are they saying? Oh, I've been in the waiting room. I'm trying to call in. Okay, perfect. I apologize. Yeah. Too much right. paper, like it's all. La later, Harry. See you later, lad. All right, we got parking in here. What is going on, man? How we doing? Hey. Hey, CJ. How's it going? What's up? Oh, am I not here? Hey, so I've got some questions for <laughs> Kyle. You address me? What's up, lad? <laughs> All right, uh, so uh, first I have some questions for Kyle about the Edinburghler, Patrick Melton. The Edinburghler, the Edinburghler. So Why I'm wondering. Why does anybody give a shit about it? <laughs> go ahead, go. go. It's, uh, it's important. People uh, want to know these questions. Okay. So I'm hoping you can just uh, answer these for us. So yeah, first, he's been, he's been, he's been, he's been wearing a fat suit for years. <laughs> Next. <laughs> no, no, yes. let, him, let him ask, let him ask. So, uh, before the questions, just wondering if you could tell us a story, you know, where Patrick Melton maybe looked stupid or lied or maybe embarrassed himself in public, you know, maybe something he wouldn't want shared. Like, just to something, maybe you could give us a little treat, um, some behind-the-scenes info. That's, a, that's, a, that's actually a great question. Yeah, honest, I yeah. like that. I think we're going to uh, get a good answer a, I mean, I've, I've, I've got a Rolodex, so let me just... let me. Uh, Think. I mean, there's, there's one where we were going after the same girl on Tinder. Oh, um, that sounds. Let's, let's let's hear that one. That sounds well, pretty well, cool. No, no, because actually, that's more roast than me or whatever. Because he, he like it, I, we both matched with the same girl on Tinder. He must have just messaged her first or whatever because he, he got with her and then I just messaged her randomly and then he messaged back. He was like, um, "Ring a ding ding, she's sucking my thing." Because I say my catchphrase is "Ring a ding ding, <laughs> I, I, I'm the king." So he said, "Ring a ding ding, she's sucking my thing," and I was like. Who the fuck? I was like, what the fuck? I was like, this? and then he was like, oh, that's me. So that's kind of roasted more on me um, than anything. But Wait, so you're you're picking from the same pool of that, women. That, that's what I was saying to him. I'm like, how? I mean, this girl was obviously just a slag. She's swiping everybody, you know what I mean, and shit like that. Okay. Um, yeah, we want to roast on Melton, not you. That's yeah, a good no, point. That's I'm a good I'm point. I'm trying to think of good Melton roast. He didn't even know about the blades. 
Wow. I mean, we just I just see him a few, like once a year or whatever. We just gig together. You know what I mean? It's like I mean I know it, like he obviously is a dickhead, but I'm a dickhead as well. You know what I mean? So I guess that's why we get along because we're both fucking. Okay. I've got a tweet pulled up in front of me uh, yeah. that you tweeted, and it says "fuck P Melt." Just did wondering if you could explain. Did I say that? Yes, you did. That's uh, that, that. That was probably my last tweet because I haven't used Twitter in years. It was from August thirteenth. August 13th, I, I think that's when I was staying at his. So maybe he was just pissing me off or whatever the fuck. Do you, do you remember oh, what, what he Why would he piss you off? What did he do? I don't know what he was saying. I mean, he just said everything. I don't know. Fucking annoyed him. So what, what is You said know. you go in and out of Patrick. So, like, what is it about him that, like, pisses you off or you don't talk to him for a while? Like, what, what type of shit is he doing? Um... I mean, I'm not that really. It's just like we just don't like when we see each other, we hang out. But then when we don't see each other, like we'll speak a bit. But he's not really that good like on Insta, you know what I mean? So I'll speak to him a bit, but not really. But it's like you know what I mean? Like we just pick it up where we left left off. I know like all these people of like um, hate him, but I mean he's not. If, if someone hasn't fucked me over personally, then I'm not gonna hate them. You know what I mean? So right. like, whatever. But you and you literally honest, tweeted fuck female. Like, I mean Patrick Melton, you know what I mean? Like like yeah, he's not the fucking like, coolest guy in the world, but he's sound. And like all you fucking guys online, they sound like you sound like fucking games, lad. Who gives a fuck? You think Patrick Melton thinks about you? You fucking losers. No, he does not give a fuck about at all. He's too busy trying to get out of bed in the fucking morning, lad. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't care about you guys. Like, who cares? Move on. It's not like he's fucking. You can't cancel him because he's he's got nothing to cancel. So it's like you're wasting your time. You well, know what I, mean? I think you're looking at it a little bit wrong. I don't think they're looking to cancel him. I think they're just yeah, like... I, I don't even think Kyle knows what's going on. I mean, that's fair as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, like, why even put so much energy into it? Um, I don't... Well, I don't, I don't think anyone's that, putting energy, energy, any energy like, into like, anything. Like, if I've got a problem with a guy, you know what I mean? Like, I'll just tell him. And you know what I mean? If it comes to fisticuffs, it comes to fisticuffs or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not hiding. But why has it... Fucking <laughs> keyboards and memes and all that fucking has it, has it ever come close to fisticuffs with Patrick Melton? With me? Um, no, That's with arguing like. and shit. Like, with fucking, like, being, like... Not crazy, but I mean, yeah, like, not, never fist the cuffs or nothing like that. No, no, no never like, fist the cuffs. We, we, we've got a weird way of, like, even when he's fucking angry at me, I can say something and just fucking make him laugh or he'd vice versa for me or something like that, you know what I mean? Gotcha. Like, he always roasts me, I always roast him, but at the end of the day, you know what I mean? He, 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 he's got my back and shit, like, he, he, I put him on my shows, he, 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 um, um, I, I, I go on his shows and shit like that. And it's one of those mates where I've known him for that long, like, he is probably one of my oldest comedian friends, I guess. Wow. I've known him for that long. That I just can't be not mates with anymore. You know of what I mean? Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you what do you think of all this parking? Uh, I'd still like to get an answer from Kyle. So on August thirteenth, you said "fuck P melt." Uh, so your official answer is you just don't remember. Well, well that would have been during Edinburgh Fringe, and that's probably two thousand eighteen. That's when I was living with him. So he might have pissed uh, okay. off then, or maybe I don't know. You know a joke. I can't remember. Were you involved in the the scams he was running around that time? The, what scams were these? Uh, I don't, to be honest, I don't have the, that information, but a lot of the shows he was pulling and things like that were apparently very shady from a lot of the articles online. Um, I mean, I don't read, and I certainly don't read fucking online articles. Um, so yeah, nah, I don't know. I guess, I mean, I just live... A lot of I, people I, I, accusing I him doing, of stuff and doing things like that. shows a day, lad. I barely saw the fucking guy, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Even okay. Fucking, Sounds like you weren't involved in the scams then. Yeah, nah, not really. No, That's no, good. No, no, no. I mean, if it was, then I, I, somebody owes me some fucking money. Wait, what are the scams? <laughs> what I don't even know what the scams are. I think you've underestimated me. My friends say I'm too dumb to be sad. I could not <laughs> plan a mastermind fucking thing. <laughs> Barely got I've got another on the question. Subway. Never yeah. mind. <laughs> so, Kyle, another question for you. Just wondering if you could kind of describe what Melton smells like. That's hilarious. Um, it, it, it smells like, I guess, like, you know the movie Flubber? Okay, yeah. <laughs> it, it, like, if, if you left the Flubber out in the sun, maybe. Um, okay. And, and then it got stuck to a big black woman's ass, like off Nutty Professor, and she farts <laughs> in it. Um, and then, and then um, you, you throw, like, some Doritos in there because you think it's, a, like, the, the waste bin. Um, so it's a mixture between that. Flubber. Okay. Hot That's a good flubber, answer. Dorito farts. Somebody's speculating in the chat that he smells like a tuna melt. 
Oh, because P-Melt? Right. Yeah, that's true. I could see that, too. I don't think he eats a lot of fish. Though. I think that's, he's that's raw nice. meat, protein, yeah. steaks. He seems like a barbecue type guy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, he eats, yeah, like, yeah. a lot of ribs. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it, it, I don't think he has much sushi. Wait, but we never... I want to I want to roll back here. I want to get this embarrassing Patrick Melton story. That was a great question. I mean, I don't even know if I... I mean, I mean the, the weed's ruined my mind, so I've got so many fucking stories and shit, but I'm trying to think of an embarrassing... I don't know. I mean, I used to just... Every time I go on his podcast, I would just try and ruin it on purpose and shit like that. Wow. So he'd, like, he'd ban me from a bunch of podcasts for a year and shit like that. So I'd just do that to annoy him and shit like that. But it's embarrassing stories. Not that I can think of. I bet you as soon as this ends, I'll fucking think of one or whatever the fuck. But yeah, so no, you would go on... Let specific- me have a look. If I go through my messages with Instagram, maybe there might be some... And then maybe we could try FaceTiming some, him again. Uh, some, <laughs> some thing... But he's going to have the same response as me. He's going to come up and be like, who the fuck are these gimps that are trying to fucking roast me? Let's have a look. Let's see all. He's going through his Patrick Melton database right now. The last thing he sent me was somebody made a Patrick Melton memes. (laughs) Meme page. Patrick Melton meme page. Melton memes. Wait, let's check that out. Melton memes. Let's go to that Instagram Um... page. And Melton may pick up if you FaceTime him again. That's a good point. Wait, what's the account called? Um, Melton Memes. Melton Memes. Melton dot memes. Melton dot memes. Nah, all this is just we just send each other photos of his fat friend Kool Aid. You know Kool Aid. This Kool-Aid, guy, he's massive. Oh. He's a legend. Oh my God! Yeah, show the show the camera. Wow. All right, here I'm gonna share my screen with he's you. I'm gonna show you some of these uh, some of these Melton memes here. Um. Oh, he convinced me I was racist once. What? It convinced me that because I blacked out one this one this one this one time in in um, in Perth as I often do I love a bevy you know what I mean so I got hammered and then I passed out and like I remember oh like, my god I don't, oh that's funny that is um the what's that say the ultimatum <laughs> <laughs> so he convinced me <laughs> that I was on the mic and I was just saying slayers. So I was like just saying like the N-word and all that sort of stuff for some reason. And I woke up, I couldn't remember it. And I was like, what the fuck are you on about? I was like, you wild and shut up. And then our venue was closed for two days. We had two days off. So then, um, and then we come back and he's told all the staff. So I go in there and the staff are like, that was rough on Sunday. I was like, what? <laughs> and then I'm just like, oh, well, sorry, I get, I, get, I get racist when I drink or whatever. And then they were like, they, they were like um, the guy who owns it has got a black wife, which he doesn't. So then I had to like, they were like pretend, they, they, he said I had to call up the guy to apologize to his black wife and stuff like that. So I'm like, I walk around the block, I'm like, what the fuck? I, I, I FaceTime me, me black cousin Alex, who you know in Boston. And I'm like, yo, I think I might be racist here, lad. <laughs> and he's like, I doubt it, you hate white people. I was like, yeah, you fair there. Um, and then I called up the number and it was a fake number. It was just him on the other side. And he I was see. like, ah, fuck you. Real quick, I yeah. want you to look at it. So this is what I was talking about from before. So this is this is referring to the blades. Yeah. So his beard. Uh, okay. So you really you didn't <laughs> notice that his beard uh, yeah. would the hairs would turn sharp and into blades. You never noticed that. I mean, not really. No, I'm not fucking kissing them on the cheek that often. To be brutally honest, like I'm not. <laughs> uh, so I've not seen it. I mean, you, anything to hide those chins, really. Though to be honest, <laughs> what are you on about? He should be having fucking extensions here, dreads. <laughs> Yes. Wow. Um, any any other questions you got for Kyle? What what else what else you got for us? Yeah, I've got another question for Kyle. So I've got a picture pulled up in front of me. Uh, it's an Instagram post of yours where you've got a bucket of coins, and you said this is how good the comedy boxing was tonight. Not even one note. Wait, and let me let like- me pull that up really quick. That's on his Instagram. You said. Yeah, I can link it in uh I link can it DM in. it to you. We'll have to scroll forever. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Link link that in Oh go back. Wait there. Go back to my Instagram. I think Patrick Melton took this photo. Oh Patrick Melton took this I think photo. That, yeah, he would have been there for that, yeah. Oh wow. Um okay. I where is it? You send it? One sec, not yet. I'll keep scrolling for now. Let's see here. 
Oh my god, you post so much on it on of Instagram. Not. If All right, story it's in the ever stops, I'm dead, lad. Call, <laughs> call somebody. It's an actual national tragedy. I never use Instagram ever. I don't know why. It's just not my thing. Okay, here we go. Um, let's see this right here. This is how. And this is kind of a two-parter. Like, I'm. I want to know about this, and I also want to know about the rumors about uh, Kyle being homeless. Eh. Uh... Rumors. <laughs> <laughs> rumors. That's how homeless I am. I can't even say it because it's got room in it. That's <laughs> um, this is probably, yeah, this is probably just a shit bucket. Because in, in Edinburgh, you do an exit by donation. Um, and this year, I made a shitload of money. Obviously, that's why I'm here. How, you know how many ways did you have to split that money? Oh, that I would have just took all of that, for sure. I'm not paying anybody for that fucking travesty. So, would you have paid people if you had gotten more money? Oh, yeah. Normally, I paid them. Like, I just gave them a split of the bucket or whatever. Yeah, like, 20 But you, like But that. you felt like that was too small of an amount of money to split. Yeah, of course. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think I might have just got... When it's like that, I just buy everybody like, on the show around. Because it's only like... It's me, a host, and another act. You know what I mean? So it's not too bad. So what question did you have about this photo? Uh, Just how often does this happen? Is this a, a regular thing for um, you? Uh, no, what year was this? 2018 or something? Yeah, I'm not sure what the date is. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's an old fucking thing, so it must have been, yeah. That's an old profile picture. So, yeah, okay, so that, this isn't a regular thing. This no, is no, more this of an exception. Like, this is fucking years ago, lad. What are you on about? And, and, oh, okay. And you're doing seven shows a day, lad, so uh, over 30 days, one of them is going to be like, that was probably a fucking Monday night, you know what I mean, with okay. a fucking zero crowd. And then, to be honest, because I riff a lot, I, I was shit. I've only been good, like, the last fucking four years, really, to, to, to be honest. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm just asking, this was a very viral photo, and a lot of people made a lot of assumptions, spread a lot of rumors. Viral photo? How have I gone viral? What are you on about here? Are you confusing me with somebody else? What's happening here? No, dude, no, these guys true. keep tabs on you. What I don't think you understand. Fuck? I don't think you understand. Well, like some more of my fucking photos, you rats. You're just in the darkness and that. Comments. Let's have a chat. I love FaceTime you have people. This, you have a secret group of people you didn't know about that have kind of been keeping tabs on you. But I don't even know if they hate me or not because I'm meant with Patrick Melton. Well, ask we have one right here. I'm the here. international man of mystery. I'm Mr. He's Mr. Three O. I'm Mr. Three O Five. He's Mr. Three O Y. Parking, parking. Do you do you hate Kyle? He's curious about this. No, absolutely not. Good I'm man. just a journalist. I'm just asking questions. I just want to get to the questions. truth about oh, the yeah, Edinburgh yeah, no. Um Yeah, that was it. That was it. That was a rough night. And I'll, you, you say you had a you had a second. There's a two part to this or something. Yeah, just all the rumors about uh, Kyle being homeless, like those kind of started from the this viral photo. So just want to make sure he's not homeless. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm homeless for maybe like, like eight months a year, maybe or something like that. Like like seven months or something. But not really homeless. I mean, I just I'm just on the road. That's so you don't have a primary road, residence. So I stay. So when I'm back in England, I stay in my uncle's dining room in a single bed. But he just brought me a caravan for outside. So I'm living in a caravan on his driveway. Really fucking adding the real stereotype to the name Kyle. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm smashing monster energies all the time now. Like so I'm living there. And then in Australia, I stay normally in Perth. We get an Airbnb or I stay with family friends. Sydney, I stay with my best mate Ruben Govender. Melbourne, I normally stay with other comedians. That's what you do. You stay with other comedians. You know what I mean? Like if CJ came, if he started, if he started doing comedy again, got his act together, um, and, and my respect back. Then if he came to Liverpool, you could stay with mine. You know what I mean? That's what it is. You're just fucking helping each other out. You know what I mean? You don't know because you don't have any fucking mates. You fucking gimp. What I'm saying is that's what you do. You know that's what I'm saying? And then there's not a lot of money in comedy till you make it. That's the fucking irony, isn't it? Yeah. So I, I probably went full time a bit too early. I was living under the fucking poverty line, but I was like, I didn't need money to make me happy. Like, I play basketball over day, a gig of a night. Right. I get laid here and there, you know what I mean? It's so sad. you're saying, like, there there is some degree of truth to what he's saying, but maybe he's taking, like, a negative slant. Well, Jay Leno, would, would, it, like, Jay Leno on the road, like, he used to live in his car, he would do shows in pubs and stay there, you know what I mean? That's not really homeless, that's hustling. So you're, you're saying, you, you have more of, like, a romantic outlook on it than you think this park. I mean, worst has. comes to worst, if... if if I ran out of money, I could go live with my uncle and my nan. So I'd never be homeless. You know what I mean? My family's not going to turn me away, are they? You and what, what I mean? so what do you mean when you say homeless parking? What do you mean by homeless? 
Uh, just not having a primary residence. You know, when you fill in forms online, you have to enter your address. Uh, what would he put in there? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah so, 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 so how does I that give, work? I give, like, all my mail in England goes to my nan's. And all my mail in Australia goes to my mum. She lives in Australia now. Mm -hmm. So, like, I probably get, like, don't send me anything because I'll get it, like, fucking uh, once a year. You know what I mean? Like, like you, 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 you don't want to know how many times I've opened up a box and there's a fucking dead puppy in there. It's a fucking joke. So you, you, you don't have a place where people can send you mail for the most part? Uh, well, it's my nan's. You're, so you send it to your nan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's a nan? A gr um, grandma. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. that was, like, an aunt or something. No, no, no. A nan is, like, a... Oh, a non is Indian bread, and nan is is my mom's mom. Right. Yeah. Um, Parking. What do you think about all? So, does this change your opinion on his homeless status? I'm still a little confused. Uh, like Kyle, what you wondering. Mean? I said like, yes, I said yes. I am homeless. <laughs> okay. I just like so to think you... I'm on the road constantly. You know what I mean? But obviously, I'm not homeless. I mean, I live in Liverpool. Like, like so. I just don't. So what's the a, state I mean, of your belongings? You know what I mean. I'm not on any leases, and then when right. you're on Airbnb, you just pay them. You know what I mean, and shit mm. like that. So, well, I'm banned from Airbnb, yeah. so I have to use someone else's Airbnb. What do you mean you're banned from Airbnb? I'm um, just smoking. I'm banned from Airbnb and Uber as well. It's bullshit. Really? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Airbnb. I was smoking a bunch of times in this place where they told me not to. Um, Why didn't you just go outside? Because I was gonna be asked. And so you just get banned from Airbnb? Yeah, but this was this was like 2016. I haven't had Airbnb. I've been fine. I just get a, I get someone else to book it or something like that. I just um and then um, and then Uber. I think that happened probably in 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 March or something. Um, graphic. I um, What did I got, you do? I, 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 did your rating get too low or something? I can't even remember what I think. Like it was like, well, this is it's gonna make me sound like a racist. This story, to be brutally honest. Because I didn't mean to call him a packy. <laughs> I didn't mean to call him a packy, but I, I, think, I like I think I did. So that's why. Uh, a pack, a packy is like a a, a, pack, a slayer for Pakistani people. Oh or just shit! Brown people in general, yeah. So you I got... thought he was trying to rip me off. So I'm like having a go with him. You know what I mean? Like we start getting into it and shit. Yeah, like yeah. Like, I yeah. mean, like he, he tried to rip you off. You call him a racial slur. That yeah, makes perfect yeah. sense. Like he was trying to get me to leave, and I was just laying on the horn. I was just like, <laughs> really, like that, really? yeah. And then, and oh then, and then, but that, that's the worst part. I was so bevied and all that. But then the worst part is after he left, I was like, oh, fuck, that was my fault. Um, so I apologized to him and all that sort of shit. Those are two, yeah, those man. are big bands. Yeah, I know, yeah. That sucks. Um, but it's all right, whatever. I just got lift now. Well, I don't, do, I don't use that. I just get fucking trains or whatever the fuck, yeah. Or taxis <laughs> and shit like that, yeah. Can't ban you from public transit. Yeah, exactly. Now they can't. <laughs> Sick. Uh, and then yellow cabs, I love a yellow cab. Flag them down, and that's ball of that. New York City, baby. Right. Yeah. This is a lot to take in right now, parking. Yeah. It's a little sad. Shit, dude. I He's know. throwing fucking Where do you live, lad? I live in Canada. Oh, you fucking pussy. I bet you fucking do, lad. Of course you do. <laughs> uh, well, if I'm ever in Canada, um, fisty cuff. For Damn. sure, lad. Yeah, exactly. Damn. Uh, I'll fucking slap the sit up out of your mouth, lad. Don't you worry about that. Oh my god. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know why he thinks he's fucking talking to me like I'm fucking like some fucking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm a man at the end of the day. If you're gonna talk shit, like I'm gonna. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm not calling you sad. I'm just getting sad hearing you uh, talk. Okay. All right. Well then, I guess you won't be back. That's different. Know. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna have you two rate each other. This time we're gonna start with Kyle. Kyle, if you had to give parking here a one out of ten rating, what do you give him? Um, I'll give him, I'll give him a fucking a gentleman's two. <laughs> oh no! All right, parking. Uh, what do you give Kyle? Well, one, one. What a savage! Nobody gives out ones. That's a, that's a, you're an animal. You give minimum I two. Mean, what you, are you talking about? You stop first. That's crazy. That is. <laughs> um, what are you doing? Uh, I, I've got one last question. Go ahead, lad. Uh, and then I've got to go, if that's okay. Of course. Uh, this, of is, course. this is a very uh, a top requested question. A lot of people want to know is just if we could get your net worth and also Patrick Melton's net worth, like a rough estimate, what you kind of think they are. <laughs> um, Wait, try FaceTiming uh, let me, let me Patrick again. Check. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let me go, let me go. Free quid or a key? <laughs> Still don't know what that's for. I just have it. I know it's for something, but I Wait, can't you only have $3? That's three pounds. That's about $6. Oh, no, I've got my cards and all that. I don't know. Probably I've got my net worth. Fucking. 
Not on that. I don't know. I've probably got about fucking. Do you want me to send you 20 bucks? Yeah, do it, of course, lad. All right. He'll send you some money. Yeah, that's sick. What a fucking bait to this what guy about, is. What about Patrick? <laughs> what, what a little cook this guy is. <laughs> He's going to send me 20 right. quid so I can back I just feel bad. Nice one. <laughs> I feel bad, honestly. Yeah, that's sound. I don't worry about it. I'm well, does that, does that make him a cuck if he wants to give you money because he feels bad for you, though? I mean, it's, I mean, I don't know why he feels bad. He's not met me. That's just what he... I'm just saying what he's saying. I'm traveling like, the world doing comedy, lad. What are you on about? I mean, I, no, I I'm... No, I want to make sure you've I, got I'm food and everything. I'm going to pay rent until I die. I don't have enough, not enough money to save. But I mean, I'm not fucking going out with meal, go without meals. <laughs> okay, that's good. I'm buying weed every fucking Dude, you know this I mean? guy's a fucking I, I, asshole, I've man. I've just dropped what so much ass. money on fucking Lakers tickets. I know, I don't know what this fucking faggot's on about, lad. You live in Canada. You're probably in your fucking <laughs> Mars basement right now, lad. What are you talking... You cry when you come, probably, you fucking pussy. What are you talking about? <laughs> Probably works on some fucking app or whatever like that. Get out you, the sunlight, lad. Fuck you sake. said you only had $3. That, I that just was a joke. Out of they were pounds, you fuck. That was all I've got okay. on me in cash, but I've got a fucking thing called credit okay, cards. Okay, okay. You, you do have a bank account. Because yours are attached to your fucking okay. dad's trust fund, you fucking pussy. But, uh, I just wasn't but, sure if you had a bank account, all that stuff, since you don't have a primary residence. What are you on about? i got a fucking English one. i got a fucking Australian okay. one. Okay. i got fucking more than you, lad, as if. Okay. Wait, but we didn't get an answer here. What, what is this guy's full name? Because I'm fucking terroring him on Instagram now. I'm, I'm, messing all my, I'm getting all I'm my on boys Twitter. to message this little I'm on Twitter. Me. Parking. You follow tickers. me on Twitter. Only on, I don't even fucking use Twitter. But of course, you use Twitter. Hide behind your fucking little keyboard warrior and shit like that. Um, I'm finding him on Twitter, and we are terroring this guy. Oh, my God. What Dude. is this? I'm putting yes. my name in the group chat now. What's your Twitter name? He's putting your fucking name. You're getting put on blast. You are going to get absolutely bully bullied with it. It's your life, lad. Honestly, trying to be nice. What, what are you on about? Well, it doesn't come across that way at all. Parking. I don't. I guess maybe because uh, we're not in the same tigers. physical space, sure. maybe things might have been you lost. You've just in started. You've got a vendetta against P Melt. I've got a vendetta against you now. Ooh, this is, we have started something, baby. This is it. <laughs> That's got. This is gonna be sick. Wait, um, but we didn't get an answer about Patrick Melton's net worth. What, what's like a rough yeah. estimate for how much money? He it depends has. when. The, when's the hot dog eating season on? In Vegas, like it's, uh, obviously rest. they're both negative, but like. How negative? <laughs> but um, I, th I mean, what, 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 when he cleans up at the hot dog eating contest, you know what I mean? That's cash in hand. That's a big check. He's probably loaded. You know what I mean? Does he have a job? Um, I, f uh, I don't think so, man. Okay. He just comedy that. But I mean, he just fucking bought a house in Vegas with a pool, so he must be doing fucking all right, lad. Thanks. Right. Just so you know, the chat is saying parking tigers is being nice. Uh, so I don't know why Kyle's trying to gaslight everyone. Gaslighting. It's like you're okay. So gaslighting is a, is an, a type of abuse where yeah, it, uh, like it comes from a story where a husband would turn the gas down on the lantern and he would tell his wife he didn't do that, so it'd make her feel like she's going crazy. Oh, what the fuck! So you like you lie to somebody specifically to make them feel like they're going crazy. Uh, okay. All right, so they're saying that you are gaslighting parking is what the. Yeah, because I'm actually being nice, and Kyle's just getting very insecure and defensive for like yeah, literally no tone. reason. That's not a nice tone. That's a that's a talk down to somebody tone. That is, you know what I mean? I've heard that tone before. I, I don't think like, so. Oh, I think sense. we're misunderstanding. I've heard that tone, I, maybe I'm in Canada. <laughs> Next, let's get someone else in. Fuck this. Get Hashish back. I love him. All right. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I mean about the yeah, gaslighting. I'm literally trying to be nice. Parking. You're getting kicked out of here. He's too angry at you. <laughs> The right. woke the beast park. Right, I love you, Kyle. I'm sorry you took this the wrong way. I'm already messing with you, love. All right. All right. Yeah, let's get Hashish back in here. Hashish, my boy. Hashish is back. Kyle is very upset right now, Hashish. You're here to calm him down. You hear that shit? You have my back, Hashish? You hear that shit he's talking there? Hashish! Hello! Oh my lord, he's left me in the trench, just take grenades. Know, know. Sheesh! <laughs> what time is it? He's probably praying or something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of which, should we, should we start wrapping up soon? What's, what's your schedule? I think so, I gotta like? leave in like 10 minutes, yeah. Yeah, 10 minutes, yeah. so we'll wrap it up. Thank you guys for stopping by today, appreciate having you. We had Kyle here, 
I'd be on Instagram, LeBron James of Comedy, and message me. Don't just watch. Just message me. I'm a, I mean, I'm not a nice guy to parking, but normally I am. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I'll send him a message. Dicky. I'll give you ca- free cameos. I'll give you voice messages, all that sort of shit. Whatever you fucking want, man. That's fucking sick. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm always on my Instagram. You're easy to track. You're easy to unless message. You're the ta- unless you're the tax man. <laughs> <laughs> my nan owes a lot of tax. About this. <laughs> all right, goodbye. <laughs>